going on people so we have the tabby test net which has just gone live it's been live for a few hours i'm going to take you through step by step on how to get involved with the test net they also have a whole load of quests that we can do they have a voyager galaxy azili they also have a guild so i'm going to take you through that and to make sure that we are positioned for the biggest airdrop possible with this big backers like anamoka and binance labs what tabby is is a modular layer one chain that is dedicated to gaming so it's right on narrative with gaming which is going to be big throughout this bull cycle cosmos modular that have all been big so far we definitely don't want to fade this so let's get right into it okay firstly there has been problems so far with the test net probably due to the amount of traffic that's trying to come through and use the faucet and add the chain it's been really glitchy so you have to stay persistent with this at the moment and when the team release any updates i will update you as soon as possible as the tokens have not come through to my wallet yet and i've seen a load of people in discord saying the same thing so I still want to take you through this so we're positioned and ready, but you're going to have to bear with it at the moment. So first, what you want to do is come to the Explorer. You're going to come to the bottom left, add Tabby Testnet to your wallet. If you have any problems doing it that way, you can come to their blog and you can manually put in the network. So the information's here. If you're using MetaMask, you would add custom network, put the inf paste in um, each one and add the network. When I was adding a the network, there was a problem. It was glitching. It wouldn't load up. It wouldn't connect. It took me five, six times of trying to reconnect it. So as I said, just stay system. There's a lot of traffic at the moment. I think there's probably around 100,000 people trying to use this and it has just launched. So you're just gonna have to bear with it. Once you've done that, you can then come to the faucet and you wanna paste your address in here and request. Mine said successful when I did it and I've tried it twice, but as I said, the tokens haven't come through. Once we've got our tokens, all we can do at the moment with the testnet is do some swaps through our wallet. So you want to do some swaps back and forth from one of your wallets to another wallet. That's all that we can do at the moment. The team have said that there's going to be a lot more coming for the testnet when the dApps release. So I will give you update videos when they come. But for now, that's all we're going to need to do with the testnet. But they have a load of stuff that we can do, NFTs that we can earn. So I'm going to take you through that right now. First, we're going to do the Mermaid quest. And you need to be on the ZK Sync era network to do this. So you're going to need to bridge some funds over to ZK Sync. In total, you're going to probably need around 5 to $10 to claim all of these NFTs. The only one that we need to do on ZK Sync. So I will give you a bridge where there's an airdrop coming for that bridge and you earn points for bridging. And also we're getting a transaction on ZK Sync. They have a highly anticipated airdrop coming. So two transactions, three airdrops possibly. So it's not such a bad thing that we have to connect to ZK Sync and do a transaction as we want to be doing that anyway. So what you need to do is connect your wallet, connect to your Reddit account. If you haven't got one, create one. Then you're going to follow their Reddit account like one of their posts connect your x and then you can claim this poll and then we're going to come through to the voyager page at the top here you can see all of the achievements that you earn or nfts that you claim from doing these quests so the first one here is the sailors quest on the bsc network so the rest of the transactions on tabby voyager will be on bsc so send over a few dollars to that network to your wallet um, and all you need to do here is straightforward is connect your discord Join their Discord and get the Voyager role, which you'll get from just um, joining. Connect your X account, follow Tabby, and then you can claim this treasure chest here. And in the Reddit quest, you can earn these here, these books. And um, I think you get an amount based on your Reddit account, so the age of it, the karma. And then we're going to come through to the Quest N campaign, where there's NFTs that we can earn. So the ones that we can get right now is the Tabby Berry Chain Celebration. They just did a partnership, which is bullish. So um, yeah, they're straightforward steps, just the social steps that you need to do. And then you can claim your NFT. I think it's less than a dollar to do this. I did it on the BSC network. You can choose your network here. It would be a good idea actually to do it with ZK Sync or Scroll, as obviously they've got their drops coming and linear as well. Um, even Polygon ZK as well, so that we're getting transactions on those networks. You could also do Blast as well. But yeah, we always want to be using networks if they're available where they have upcoming airdrops. So we're just building up those transactions on those networks, which is bullish. So um, yeah, they're straightforward steps, 
just the social steps that you need to do and then you can claim your nft i think it's less than a dollar to do this i did it on the bsc network you can choose your network here it would be a good idea actually to do it with zk sync or scroll as obviously they've got their drops coming and linear as well um even polygon zk as well so that we're getting transactions on those networks you could also do blast as well but yeah we always want to be using just released a new one for the testnet launch so simple again with the last one here being request your testnet tokens from tabby whether that's going to work or not until the tokens hit your wallet i don't know if i haven't done this one yet but um yeah get this one done and claim this nft as well and then they also have a zeely campaign that you can do to get some points so come and get these done if you can okay and then they have a galaxy campaign as well there's only one campaign that we can do they have another one but unless you had done um, one of the tasks from last summer you can't get that so make sure you come and do this one to get your points and one out it's just visit the mermaid quest and have the discord where's your role okay, and then they have a guild as well where we can get some roles so the first one is having the tabby reddit creed nft which you would have got sorry which you would have got from doing that quest on the voyager as you can see i've got and then there's a tabby warrior which you need the treasure land glory badge nft which was last summer so unless you did that you can't get this and then zeely verified is where you need to have a binance account bound token nft i haven't got this myself but i'm going to be doing this today and if you need help with this um then let me know in the comments and i will do a video tutorial on how to get this galaxy passport nft which i think you should have if you're farming these airdrops it's a proof of human which a lot of projects are now doing to filter out the bots which i agree with i know a lot of people don't want to do these passports because it requires giving your id but with the galaxy one you get an nft that represents your passport your details aren't shared with anyone so for me i'm comfortable with it and if you want to position yourself for the biggest possible airdrop then you've got to take extra steps also just have a discord older than six months and hold a little bit of bnb all right and that wraps this one up so just stay persistent with trying to get these test net tokens i will give you an update as soon as anything changes if they release a new full set or if they change the rpc for the, the network itself get all of those other tasks done where you can get the nfts they're probably going to be time sensitive and they represent that you as early in the project i think that this is going to be a very very big chain it could follow injective celestia it hits all the right narratives gaming modular so we definitely don't want to fade in and do everything we can to be in the best position for the juiciest airdrop if you've got any questions leave it in the comments and i will get back to you subscribe to stay up to date with the alpha turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything all links will be in the description and i will see you in the next one